the more you build out your DBT project, the more models you're going to have and the more difficult it's going to be to run all of them. So a lot of times what happens is you'll start running your command and you want to pick specific models or sources that you want to run. Fortunately, in DBT, this is possible by selecting different operators. And there are a handful that you can pick. And so in this video, we're going to go through what these operators are, some different ways you can use them, and then take a look at the docs to show what that looks like visually to help you better understand it. So first of all, let's just review real quick what these things are, what are operators. And essentially with each command that's listed here, you can have different arguments. And in particular, the ones we're concerned with in this video are select and exclude. And within that, you can pick and choose different components of your project. So for example, you just want to select maybe staging models, maybe you want to run everything, but you don't want to run this particular directory here. That's how you can use these different flags. Now, rather than reading through the docs more, let's take a look at an example of what this might look like. In my experience, the most common way to do this is to do a dbt run or maybe a build test, etc. And using the select operator, or for short, you can just do dash S, as we'll see a little bit later, you can do the entire project, you can select a specific model, which is very common if you just want to run one in particular, you can pick a specific path. So everything in a directory, you can do a package, go based on tags. It, additionally, you can add different characters. So plus sign at sign asterisk comma, and I'm going to show you examples of these. But basically, they allow you to not just work on one specific model, but extend it to maybe parents or children or anything that's related to that particular model or resource that you're trying to look at. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to hop over to the docs for my project, because rather than actually running them, I, I can just show you what it looks like visually through this here, and you'll understand what's going on. So down here, we can see we're working with a select flag here. And this is the equivalent of doing a dbt run dash dash select, and then a name of the model. So kind of like we did before. So here you can see it actually picked that up right away. Alternatively, like I said, you could just do dash s and it's the same concept. So maybe we want to do customers and we'll see this lights up. All right, but we don't need to include this. But I just want to point out that that's what it would be if you were to run it here. So for example, customers would execute what we're showing here. So just keep that in mind. I'm actually going to put this side by side with my project so you can also see what's going on here. But let's say we wanted to run all of the marts. Like we said, you can use those plus signs and asterisks and all these things. So let's say we want to do all the models in the marts directory. We could do marts dot asterisk, and that's going to run both of the models in our marts directory. This is another reason why directories are really important in DBT. Alternatively, you could select a specific one this way also. So you could do marts dot, let's say customers, and it would just execute and select that one. All right, so let's say we want to look at everything orders, and then the children of orders, meaning everything downstream, this is where you could use the plus sign. And here we can see it's highlighting everything else. And that's what would be run or tested or build whatever you decide to do. Now, if we did plus on the other side, it would also do the parents meaning everything before it. So let's add the plus and now we can see it's including everything here, everything in gray would be excluded. So if I press enter here, it's just going to filter it all out. Next, let's do the at sign. If we look at the at operator here, this is similar to the plus, but it's also going to build the parents of the children of the selected model, which is a little bit confusing. But basically, what it's going to do is, let's say we wanted to do at orders, it's going to look at all of the children, meaning downstream. So all of these here, as well as the parents of everything. So in that case, it's going to go here. And then it's also going to say, all right, we need the parents of this one which is going to be all these and all these, as well as the parents of this one here, because it goes through here. So essentially, in our case, it's going to say everything. Now, the reason you'd want to do the at symbol would be, let's say you're deploying the first time into a brand new environment, doing it this way will ensure that everything that is related in some fashion to whatever it is you're deploying, maybe through a CI CD pipeline is going to be deployed into that new environment. And it would refresh the data and you should in theory, not have any issues data wise. So that's why you would do that. And it's just a quick little symbol to make sure that that happens. Next, let's move on to exclude, which is very similar, obviously, but just the opposite. So instead of selecting everything, let's say we want to do all models in our staging directory here. So we're saying everything in staging, which includes everything here, but we want to exclude maybe one in particular, let's say we don't want this guy, we'll say exclude, we can see it would take that away. And if I press enter, it goes away. Alternatively, again, we could do the same thing. And maybe we say we don't want the payment app subdirectory. Again, this is why directories are important. You could say staging dot payment app 
dot star. And so that would say everything in staging, payment app, any models that are in here, exclude them. And that's what that would be. And if we were to run this, it would look something like s staging dot star and then exclude staging dot payment app dot star. And that's essentially what you would run in this scenario. Next, let's look at the set operators, which are a little bit different and allow you to kind of group together these arguments within a single select flag. The two options we have are unions and intersections, at least at the time of this recording. And essentially what this allows you to do are combine statements, those, you know, operators or selectors into different things. For example, with unions, it's going to do both of these. So it's going to stack the different options, everything that meets this path and everything that meets this path here in this operator. Notice that the space in between is what indicates what this is. Alternatively, intersections are saying it must be all of these. So it's saying satisfy all arguments. And this is where you have a comma. So it must be an intersection of both of these paths. And so here you can see for this example, it's saying find where it's within the marts.finance, maybe subdirectory here. And then also with the tag nightly, even though there's probably models in here that have a different tag, we only want the ones that meet both criteria. And you can run this as your command, let's say on a nightly run. And that's the, really the power here of putting these operators together because you can use your project, no matter how big it is, to pick and choose very specific things you want to run at different times. So let's say, uh, for example, here, we want to do, we'll do a union here. Let's say we want to do sale dates. So I can see this right here. And we want customers plus. So I have this and customers plus, and this is what we would run. Now let's do an example of the intersection. Let's, let's say we want to do stage tech store customers plus so we can see this goes to both orders and it comes down to this intermediate model but we give the comma and we say customers plus so what this is saying is we only want ones where it matches both of them so if we get rid of that comma we can see where the full route is if we were to union it but if we do the comma it's taking it out because this is the only part that overlaps or intersects between both of them we could put it all together here and exclude that test even right here and only get customers. Just one lonely model after all of that. So as you can see, designing your project with directories and certain naming is really important. Combined with using the different operators to pick and choose what you want makes DBT really dynamic. And hopefully now you feel more comfortable using them in your own project. So thanks as always for watching and I'll see you at the next video.